No one told you that was gonna be this way. Good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Um, early morning edition. It's about 7.30 in the morning right now. My roommate is still asleep, but I wanted to do this before, uh, before I did anything else with my day. So it got done. Today, I wanted to talk about my favorite movies of the year. Now this was incredibly hard to do because I saw a good deal of movies. I didn't see as many as some people. I saw this post on Reddit yesterday and it was this guy who was like, I saw 129 movies this year. Here's my definitive ranking. And I was like, but yeah, so here's my definitive top five movies of the year. Um, technically top seven because I have, um, I'm gonna have five narrative films and then uh, two documentaries so the one caveat is that I haven't seen probably three or four movies that um, would probably go on this list if I had seen them but unfortunately I haven't been able to so Terminator Salvation, Parasite, um, Hobbs and Shaw, a couple of those films are all not going to be on this list because I just was never able to see them um, but here we go I'll start with documentaries. Number one is, or number two, I guess. <laughs> number two is uh, Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks. I watched this on Netflix. I don't know if this is where it was originally distributed, but um, it's a documentary about sort of the rise of um, the Kung Fu genre um, and sort of the history of the Shaw Brothers and the studio system in Hong Kong. Just one of the best, most sort of in-depth documentaries I've ever seen on that kind of um, as somebody who's an avid sort of martial arts fan, that was a huge, huge thing, and I really enjoyed this movie. My number one favorite documentary, though, was a documentary called Tell Me Who I Am, which was also released on Netflix. Netflix is doing good work in the documentary form. Tell Me Who I Am is essentially about these two brothers, um, twin brothers, and one of them gets into a car or a motorcycle accident, resulting in him losing his memory, and the only thing he can remember is his own brother. And so it is a story about one brother teaching the other, sort of about his life, and there may be some twists and turns in it. Really good, phenomenally made. It relies mostly on reenactments, which I know for some people kind of disqualifies it as a documentary, but I just thoroughly enjoyed it. So if you were into documentaries and super heartbreaking ones, um, watch tell me who i am so now we get on to narrative films this one was super hard because i saw a lot of movies that i thoroughly enjoyed but i sort of narrowed it down to movies that i am um, i thought back to how i felt in the theater and coming out of it and whether i felt really really good whether i felt kind of good but not great or if i felt kind of meh and so i sort of crossed out the ones that didn't sort of give me that really really good feeling and with that, I still ended up with probably 10 movies, which I then sort of struck out the ones where I didn't have some sort of visceral reaction in the theater. So I didn't cry or laugh or whatever. Number five, I'm putting as Let It Snow, um, which kind of coming out of left field, I know, but um, I'm a big rom-com fan. Um, I'm a huge fan of Christmas movies. And I'm a big fan of John Green and, and all the things he does. And this is loosely based on a novel by John Green and a couple of other authors. It was released on Netflix. Yeah, super, just a fun movie, really cute, really touching. Sort of one of the best um, teen drama romance movies that I've seen in a very long time. Just really kind of hit home for me. Stories about living in a small town on Christmas break, just super heartwarming and cute. Genuinely had me crying when I watched it, so. Really good movie, especially for the holiday season. If you're not doing anything for New Year's, watch, uh, watch Let It Snow. Number four was Avengers Endgame. Now I know for a lot of people this is gonna be right up there as a as number one, and I totally can see why. As somebody who's a, who's been following sort of the MCU from its inception, um, thoroughly enjoyed it. One of the, the, the Mjolnir reveal, spoiler alert, just one of the greatest moments in uh, going to a movie. I mean, the only reason it's not number one is just 
because of its length, it's super long. <laughs> I still thoroughly enjoyed it. One of the best movies, uh, movie going experiences I've ever had. Just the whole theater reacting to those big moments was such good fun. Number three is Dolomite is my name. Oh, the dog is awake again. You're having a reoccurring role in these, in these videos. Dolomite is my name. Uh, the Eddie Murphy vehicle, which popped up on Netflix this year, kind of out of nowhere. Um, he sort of half announced that he was doing a movie. Um, and then it just kind of, a trailer came out and then it came out. Um, it's it, a really, really fun biopic. It's so nice to see Eddie Murphy back in the game doing things that he looks like he's having fun in. Such a good, just a fun kind of heartwarming movie. It sort of hits all the right beats. Um, again, had me crying. I don't know why. <laughs> Number four, Knives Out. So I don't think this would come as any of a surprise to anyone, but I absolutely adore the work of uh, Ryan Johnson. And um, I think Ryan Johnson is just a really smart filmmaker. He makes really uh, tight films that sort of have really strong themes and that he, he really knows the material that he's sort of working with. And Knives Out is a really great, not only comment on, but sort of just a really good version of, of a sort of a whodunit. One of the best twists of the year, one of the best reveals of the year, again, sort of had me gasping in the theater. Anytime I can have that reaction, you, you know you've got me. And number five, Marriage Story. I know this is going to be like topping a bunch of people's lists and this is the most unoriginal thing I could talk about, but Adam Driver, Scarlett Johansson, 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 Johansson. What more could you ask for? Just an incredible movie. One of the most like heartbreaking, hard to watch movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Just like start to finish, incredible. My roommate's now awake. This has become embarrassing. Lots of good movies this year, guys. <laughs> go see, go see movies. Here's to another year of great movies. What the hell, man. So good. Have a good day, guys. See you sometime. <laughs>